Give that icon. Give that legend a round of applause. Give that man a standing ovation. Give that man a standing ovation. He transcended generations. It looks the exact same. Give that man a standing ovation. I said it for myself. Come on, man. Give that man, man. You gotta say it for yourself. Come on, man. From the Gap Band to You Turn My Life Around album to now. Yeah. Ooh, that man is still fly, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a standing ovation. Hey. Come on, man. This is the voice of choice. They all want to work with him. It doesn't matter if it's Kanye, if mm -hmm. it's Snoop. It doesn't matter. They all want to work with him. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. Justin Zimbalay. They all want to work with him, man. We talk of 13 Grammy um, uh, nominations. Um, 11 NAACP Image Awards, including two wins, 2009 Soul Train Icon Award. 13 number ones. 13, I'm sorry, I'm not, I was going to get to that. Hey, I hadn't hey. got to that part yet. I ain't got to that point, yeah, yeah, 13 number ones. <laughs> Billboard um, number one. Billboard <laughs> number ones. Yeah. Uh, there Goes My Baby was named the number one urban adult song for 2009 in Billboard. Wow, this man, I can, if I keep reading, we ain't going to get to an interview. Yeah. I want to welcome him back, though, man. Yeah. I, I grew up loving his music, his brothers and him, I, and, and even when he went solo I, and working with Mystical, all these different folks, really embracing rap at a time when a lot of R&B and soul artists uh, frowned on it or was apprehensive about it. Mm -hmm. They didn't hate on it, but they didn't help it. This man. <laughs> That's too <laughs> they didn't help it, man. They didn't help it. They didn't hate. They waited. Right, yeah. but this man embraced hip hop, <laughs> understood the evolution that it was just the 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 the, the offspring of everything that they've been doing all of these years. Mm. And man, I don't know people who could just stay so fly and stay on the post to stay connected as well as he's had and really well reserve and preserve his voice the mm. way he has. Um, this man is a beautiful person. He's here with us today. I'm totally honored. I don't know if he remembers. I used to work with his family, Michelle and them over in Hayward at Creole at a Creole mm. restaurant underneath this Creole restaurant. <laughs> and I think Michelle was your uh, what niece. One, niece. niece. She's your niece. <laughs> yeah, Michelle and I became good friends. Yeah. And so I've always been in your corner even before you knew me, before I was even on radio and That's TV, right. man. Give it up wow. for the one and only. Right. Charlie Wilson is hey. here, man. Charlie Wilson. Charlie Wilson. Let's get it going. Let's get it going, baby. Let's get it going. Yeah. Let's get it going, man. Um, yeah. Charlie, how do you stay fashionably conscious? <laughs> like, what you wearing right now, I could Ooh. take this same outfit and go to the award show, red carpet. <laughs> Who dresses you, man? Uh, uh, my manager. <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> my wife. Uh -huh. No, you know, most of the stuff be birthday presents and things like that. And, and I, 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 me and my wife, we don't like being in, sh in stores a very long time. She gets claustrophobic in those places. She says, I don't like this going on shopping like that. So mm -hmm. we send somebody, we had wardrobe people who just, you know, go and bring the stuff back. Everybody knows, they know the sizes and they always bring stuff. You know, I cannot even get in my closet no more. I was in there yesterday, I was like, <laughs> what are we gonna do with all these clothes, man? I gotta get, she said, we gotta get rid of some of this. I said, but everything is new now. Why can't we go get something, throw away something new? We can throw it, I said, I ain't gonna throw it away. I said, but we gotta clear this closet out. Cause it goes in and just. Oh, is that many clothes, bro? Oh man, yeah. I'm just serious, and I haven't worn half of that stuff yet. What size? It's the first large. Mm. I'm getting there, man. I mean, listen, you want to get some off? I could take some of your jackets. You slimming down, Slay. I'm slimming down. <laughs> I'm almost there. <laughs> Don't chase. You got some of those? Is it important, though? Is it important for you as an artist? Because I remember um, hearing James Brown talk about how important it is what you wear on stage to make sure you wear certain colors that pop so you don't blend in with the background. Mm. You know, how important is it, too, when you got a new single out, Superman, for you to be fashionably on point? To look a certain way. Well, I, I don't make that decision anyway. I just like I don't I don't have nothing to say about any of that stuff. But uh, I do have uh, uh, uh -oh. wardrobe people who pick stuff out. My wife said he's gonna wear this. He's gonna wear that. He's gonna wear that. So okay. I let her have it. I said, hey. I, <laughs> yeah. I said if you let me, if you let me have it, I'll be I have so much jewelry on. They gonna be, I got all of just boxes of with with the clear glass. And you, I was like, so what am I gonna do with all of this? <laughs> it's like it's just too much. It's too much, right? Yeah, it's been year after year after year, so many years, and and um, and, and just stuff is just lined up. <clears throat> yeah. So I don't know, man. It's like I got family members. I got uh, 
people who love me and and uh, I can give that some of that stuff to them and it's all okay with me. Yeah, I'm a family member. All right, we got Charlie Wilson here, man. Got the new single. Wait, wait, wait. I went at large too. I'm gonna let me know. Come on, you know what it is, man. You know what it is. It's, it's large. It's large. I know it's you large. know what it is. So you see my shoulders. I want to say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if look at my shoulders, look man. At my it's, shoulders. A large. it's a large, man. <laughs> <laughs> Unc, I want to say, listen, it's a lot of people. Jay Z made a comment in Jazz yesterday when he at the Grammy Awards when he talked about people in the best album category. Some people going to, you know, some people going to get robbed. Some people don't even deserve to don't be. even deserve to be yeah. there, yeah. right? And sometimes when I see these Hollywood star Walk of Fame ceremonies, I wonder how did that person get it. Right, mm. but when I saw you received the Hollywood Walk of Fame yeah. star, I yes. said, "Damn it, they got it right." Yes. Yeah, they got it right. Man, yes. they, man, it took them a long time to get it right, it but they way past the time. Yeah, way past the time. Yeah. You felt like that too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with it. You know, I, I'm not. I've never been a braggadocious kind of a guy, but I mean, sometimes things should be done. You know when they should be done, mm-hmm. and if you still got your little ugly raggedy thumb on top of my head, that ain't gonna they ain't gonna last long. You are gonna get a cramp in a minute, because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna get what I'm supposed to get, and you up. ain't gonna be around to see me get it. Yeah, wow, Mister or Mrs. Whatever or Miss, mm-hmm. you you ain't gonna be around to see me get it, cause I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I'm gonna get more than you think I'm gonna get. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll I thank God for. For the things that was wrong with me, thank God for the things I didn't get, and I just thank God for everything because it said in all things, mm-hmm. give thanks. Yes. Give thanks. Yeah, the good and the bad. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why I'm getting what I'm getting because I thank Him for everything that's been good. I thought, and thought the things I thought was bad, I'm thanking Him for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are some of the things you thought were bad? Just, just uh, my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. It was bad, and I thanked him for that. Cause uh-huh. I was on, when I was on the streets, homeless. I was thanking God for that. I Lord, I thank you. Whatever this is, uh-huh. I don't know. I know it's kind of crowded down here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of crowded down here, Lord. You gotta can I get up off this curve because there's too many people down here. Uh-huh. Yeah, he said, yeah, I'm gonna get you up in a minute. You know, I didn't, I didn't go no further than that. I just thanked him for it all. When when the sprinkler systems was waking me up in the morning, wow! Next to a bush in the wall, I was hey, I was thinking, woo, 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 okay, I'm woke, I'm woke, Lord, I'm woke. <laughs> the sprinkler system, <laughs> yeah, wow, next to the bushes. You didn't oh, have a, yeah. you, when you, you were, there wasn't a tent. You was just sleeping in clothes at that Man, time. Man, had no tent. I didn't have no tent. There wasn't no tents back in the day. I had three three shopping carts mm-hmm. and a brick brick for my bed for my pillow and a mm. piece of carpet that I was laying on. So. And and some homeless people made that for me. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Wow! I think I know who we should give your clothes to. <laughs> <laughs> we about to go back to where right. the homeless. Yeah, folks I are. don't know where they went, man. Just, yeah. But they uh, somebody was at. Is, is that Charlie Wilson and that lady? Pull that good knife out. Get back! For if I stick this in you, I'm not gonna stop sticking you. And that woke me up. She was getting ready to cut, homeboy. I was like, <clears throat> she said, you don't know who that is. But it looked like him, she said, I'm gonna tell you one more time to get back. I'm finna cut you. I'm gonna stab you, then I'm gonna cut you up. So she the guy got back and I rolled over. I was like, wow, she's d- dangerous up in here. Mm. <laughs> she made my 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 three shopping carts and uh, and put some that black cellophane around it mm-hmm. so you couldn't see in it. And uh, over the top and uh, and that's why I had it. After when they made that, I was good. That was it, huh? Wow. That was the wake up call. Well, the, well, the wake, wake up call was uh, I, I seen a, my cousin. She was uh, looking really, really good. I was like, wow. Because the spirit told me to walk. And I started walking. And then when I got to the, um, by maybe a mile, there's a liquor store. And then she was coming out the liquor store. And I said, cuz, hey, give me a hit. <laughs> she said, them tears started rolling. I don't get high no more, cuz. It's been three years since I stopped. I was in three years. I've been down here three years. Mm. Wow. Oh, you did lost track wow. of time. I tripped and went. I'm telling you, I didn't know nothing about nothing. And uh, so she uh, just cried and hugged me and, come on, go with me right now. I said, no, nah, cuz, I ain't going nowhere right now. I want you to go in this re- rehab. And I was like, no, nah, I've been in seven, and then it didn't work for me. 
I said, I, I went every time somebody wanted me to go, and it didn't work. I ain't ready to go. And uh, she said, I want you to meet this lady who who uh, got me, uh, thank you, who got me uh, uh, got me my my stuff. And I said, okay. And uh, I said, I, I, tomorrow we'll go. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, We'll take that step, Charlie. Mm-hmm. Show sure enough, yeah. show sure enough, I I went with her and um, and I never turned around. That's been almost thirty some years ago. Come on, man! Yeah. Come on, man! That's why they call him Superman. Yeah, wow. yeah <laughs> twenty nine years ago, something like that. It's, yeah. I never look back. Never look back, man. Never look back. And look at you now, man. We got this new single called Superman. I, you see. The title was appropriate. Yeah, we, we wrote that. It's my story. Yeah, that's my story. My wife is. She put that cape on me. We never mm. look back. Never been good at waiting till you showed me patience. How you know me? Yeah, it shows me. I was on one needing saving, putting my cape on my back when it felt unattached. When I was at my lowest, you saw Superman. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a bird, it's a plane. Oh, call me a Superman. Don't, 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 don't Superman forever. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, man, that's Charlie Wilson. We got a live concert back. Come on, man. That's a new one called Superman. Yeah. Oh, man. What is it like for you, man, to have transcended these generations? Do you still get excited about a new single? Like, Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah, man. When something when something good comes down the pipeline, man, I'm, I'm just excited, man. I'm really excited, especially if it's good. Uh-huh. You know, some songs... Well, for me, it ended up going to somebody else, and so now I'm finna get some of those songs back that were mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I shouldn't say who it is right now, but no, that's all there's, good. Some, there's some records that that was was for me end up yeah. to end up being Bobby Brown's records and okay. some of those things. Okay. So <laughs> which one? My prerogative? What? No, no. Okay, okay. I, I mean, all, a lot of those songs were for me. I'm just telling you right yeah. now, but mm-hmm. but it's all good. I'm uh, uh but I'm getting ready to. Reclaim some of those records and and uh, and sing them. It's because I'm having fun, man. That's all I'm doing. Just having fun and and uh, can get some. I, I just like some. Love some of those. Every little step I take. take. Be together. Every little step I make. Ooh. Be together. Every little step I take. Yeah. yeah I, like I used that. to love those records, man. Yeah. And um, yeah, but you know, you know, people was just all. A lot of people was just. Angry at themselves and angry, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> angry because they couldn't, couldn't, wouldn't been able to pull it off like I would have. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just it. telling you. Just yeah. a lot of times, it's just I'm not make, making names or something like that. I'm just because uh, some 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 of those songs went around two or th- two or three different places. Uh huh. When they were for me the first time, and they ended up in t- two or three different places. It ended, ended up with. With one of the biggest artists that was in the world back in those days, yeah, and, and I was happy for him, and he was. Uh, but uh, did y'all ever work together, you and Bobby? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's he's like he's like my my son, man. This guy was he's still he's still happy in life, and I mean he knows what is what what this all this all of this is, and he was so big. You know, nothing really phases him now because he was like he's seen it all. Right? He had it all, man. He ended up marrying one of the one of the greatest singers in the world, and mm-hmm. uh, and they was young, and uh, he was running. They was running from place to place, and it was just he. One time he sold forty million records. Yeah, Bobby <clears throat> Brown. So, yeah. It was a lot of lot. I think of we forget how huge Bobby Brown. Man, he was right. as he an was, artist. Yeah. He was big. Yeah, you know, and we we had a lot of talks back in those days, and and. Uh, we we had a lot of fun talking about certain things and and uh, we still like that today. Yeah, mm-hmm. Bobby's good people. Love Bobby. Salute to Bobby Brown, citizen too. Right, yeah. citizen. Who, he is. Who, who are yo? I didn't realize. I, I did realize, but um, was it Computer Love? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Computer Me Love. Me and Roger and Zap. <laughs> boom. 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 
Oh, yeah, hold up, man. What's that I'm hearing in my headphones? Oh, put, your, put your headphones oh. on there, Charlie. Hey. What you hear? You hear something, man? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that true, right. baby? Mm-hmm. I'm a shooter. Okay. Right. Yeah, go. Yeah. Right here. Hey! Hey! That's your hey? Yeah, I mean. Because every time I sang, I was like, oh man, I just woke up. Uh huh. He called me at 3 o'clock in the morning. Come on down here, man. I got something I want you to do. Every time I sang, I said, I just woke up. I just woke up. And he said, don't say that. Don't say nothing. <laughs> just saying. And, uh, but I, I had fun doing that one. Then he come, called Shirley down there, and she did her part. Wow, man. Come and on. then they took me off. The label was mad because I did the record. Mm-hmm. They were pissed off. Oh, your record label was Oh, up. man, they <laughs> was just saying, man, that, that, that ain't no hit. I'm like, you must be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no hit. Yeah, that ain't no hit. You ain't no hit, hell. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's where the, the no hit is coming from, you. <laughs> the label. See, it, we hear a lot of young artists talk about label issues in 2024, yeah. 2020. That song came out, what, 1980-something? In, in, uh, 80, 80, 80, 80, 81 or two, I forgot. Yeah. They were having problems since day one in record business, oh, like yeah, artists, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. 1986. 86? Wow. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, you survived those things, though, right? Um in terms of the, the, the legal issues that a lot of artists has have, have had, you survived it. What advice do you give to younger artists now when it comes to their art and their, and their creativity? Just do what you love to do, man. And and if you want somebody on the record, just go get the person. Because I know they, they, they all come get me. And and, and and all of the labels are like, he can't get nobody going to play it. Everybody's not going to play that record. Man, who gives a damn if everybody don't play it? Internet will play it. Mm-hmm. There's so many ways to get music these days. It don't have to be radio. Mm-hmm. Not, not that's not the issue no more. So that's why they really mad at me because everybody comes to me for the records. Because mm-hmm. when they want to play, and if you huge, if you're big as Don Tolliver, all of these other artists that they, they play music, they get their music played from all kind of different, uh, you know, platforms. Mm-hmm. And so I that, love you just shouted out Don Tolliver, yeah. man. Yeah, you know that was so ill. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. my guy. Yeah, wow. That's my little buddy, man. He's just like. He p- produced a couple of records on me as well. Uh-huh. When he came out yet, I'm just telling y'all. Oh, was, Don <laughs> Tolliver got some joints <laughs> yeah, on that? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, he produced, oh, we did two or three things uh, oh. on me, and uh, we did, I let him go, and I let him go first and let him do get his thing. I said, you're going to be huge. You'll see what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And then he just took off and just, <sighs> and I said, this, I said this, we can get back to that. He was at, when he was at the, uh, when he was giving my, my star, they, all of them was there, all of the kids, all those, everybody that ever sang with me. Mm was in the audience and, and that, that lady said, I've never ever seen this many superstars at a ceremony with a star. This is the first time. So many superstars. I was like, hey. <laughs> I'm Charlie. You know, Uncle Charlie. Yes, you are. I showed up for them, they showed up for me. Yeah. As simple as that. Yeah. Mm. Um, uh, Charlie Wilson is here, yes. man. He got the new single, Superman. It's yes. available. I'm, uh, HB. Yeah, <laughs> we got to continue to acknowledge and give you your flowers for over five decades in this industry you, and just generation after generation. I jokingly said on my live, you know, I know your mama was playing that music in the basement, but because <laughs> mine was, <laughs> you know, and in the <laughs> attic and in the cookouts and the reunions mm. and everything. Mm-hmm. So just love for you for that. Um, How competitive was it? during those times with the Gap Band, um, just just coming out the stage show to perform. We don't see as much of that anymore. Um, sometimes people just come <clears throat> out, grab the mic, Earth, the Wind, Com- and Fire, Earth, Wind, and Fire, the Gap Band. Yeah, like... Well, you know, did nobody get in the garage and practice. I, I practice my band uh, 8 to 12 hours every day. Wow. Yeah, and sometimes 16 hours, days... You know, I go, I fall asleep and go off and woke up and come back and they putting their guitars and things. I'm like, what y'all doing? We done? No, you're not. Plug back up, man. I, I just woke up. Let's go. Mm. And that's we did it like that until it was right. Shit. So, Eight to you know, sixteen yeah. hours a day. Yeah, yeah, man. It had to be right. And uh, 
And 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 again, like you know, and nobody wanted to follow the Gap Band. It's just nobody would ever want to do it because we was sharp as a tack and we was tight. And I would whistle, and then things changed. And I say no, and we take off in some other groove. <laughs> just by the whistle, I gotta learn that whistle. Oh yeah, man. Can you do that whistle again? Whoa, damn, just That's right there, right wild. there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start whistling in this studio, Sway. <laughs> oh, no, no, I can't. You can use that one. I can use that one. I use that, Charlie. You can use that whistle. I can use that whistle. Uh, so, and y'all change, change the music. Boom. They say, he whistling? No, that's my uncle. He did that for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. We can use that whistle. You get that too? Let's get that whistle. We're going to use that. Um, what bands today do you think, like you, you you went on tour with Bruno Mars and his band. What, what are some of the, you know, the roots? You know, it's a lot of great bands. What bands you feel kind of come from that lineage of what you guys were doing in the 70s? Well, it was Bruno. I like I liked his flavor a lot. But uh, <laughs> his own people told me, said, I'm so glad you're back, Uncle Charlie, because he's just been going through the motions. When he, you back now, he done sp- he got to spice it back up. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> got to rise, right? Yeah, mm. he, had to, he got to spice it back up. Mm-hmm. Because boy, you put the hammer down. I was like, I know it. That, that's what I do, and uh, he do what he do, and that's, you know, I don't think he would want me on this show if I didn't do what I do. But I didn't think he was gonna think that I would be just that much because his fans are old, his old school fans in the mind. Yeah. So when I started in that Gap bands and them Gap songs, mm-hmm. they just come running down the aisles, man, and Ooh. I was like, oh. Ooh. <laughs> Let me change my thinking right now. <laughs> and then I was on in. Mm. You see, you see, forty or fifty thousand white hands up. Mm-hmm. Excuse my French. It's, just, it's a lot of black hands up as well. But mm-hmm. you know, I'm just saying, yeah. it's a different. Yeah. That's a different the pop. Thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But they were like old heads. Not. Mm. I mean, they was experienced uh, uh, music lovers. Yeah. And. Uh, I just took grab a hold of them like this here and just grabbed them, didn't let go. And when I did let go, it was over. Mm. I'm done. <laughs> Charlie Wilson. Yo, we get to <laughs> drop a gem on them. <laughs> Where that whistle you. at? <laughs> we love you, Uncle Charlie. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Earlier, we were having a conversation at the top of the show um, just about how when hip-hop was still in its infancy stages and it was a new art form, how young it was, um, it was hard for some artists to really imagine growing within the culture because, you know, depending on how far back you go, there wasn't a Jay-Z, there wasn't someone who was in their 50s who was yeah. performing. Yeah. At the Hollywood um, Walk of Fame, when you got your star, that was also the day of your birthday, 71 years yes. young. Yeah. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Happy birthday, Come on, man. Thank you so much, man. Yes. I, I mean, like, <laughs> I, I remember the first when, I, when Michael gave me my party, and I was like, he stuck the seven one there and was just, uh, and I said, you gonna leave that seven one there? <laughs> 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 he said, why not? I said, hey, I, I didn't think you gonna leave it there. It's like, I said, hey, okay, might mm. as well. He said, you know what nobody know who you are? I said, no, I already know why. Some think I was older than that, so I said, it's all good. <laughs> I said, man, that dude's about 85 years old. I'm like, man, I ain't no damn 85 years old. Be quiet. <laughs> was it always easy for you but, to uh, embrace it, aging? Huh? Huh? Was it easy for you to embrace aging in an industry I, I, that feels like it's Well, young? yeah, it, it, it's, it was, it's, it's okay for me to, to uh, I said, people found out that I was older a long time ago, but it's it's like, when it, when it, when you when you start aging, people people heads fi- head figures were the ones that started like we can't play him. He's too old for this format. That's that's the one thing that makes pisses me off. Mm. You know how can you sing like I sing and I be too too old to be on a format, man? Yeah, yeah, a format. I don't have my voice. Don't have a, a age limit, man. Because if it did, ask Don Tolliver, ask uh, ask Bruno. What, what, is it? Does it have an age limit? Facts. When I hit that note earlier, well, did it have an age limit? Mm. I know a lot of people my age can't hit that note. Mm. But hey, I'm different than everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm still here. I'm still making number one records, and everybody trying to figure out how I'm doing it. It ain't drugs. It's water. Woo! There you go. It's water. It's water. He there cut you that go. Come on, Charlie Wilson. It's Come water. on. 
Wow. Be like water. Be yeah. like water. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah. yeah. Is it anybody that passed on that you wish you would have had opportunity to collaborate with? Yes. Mm. Uh, man, I think about him all the time. Uh, mm. Eddie Kendricks. Eddie and Kendricks. he had called when I was in Alabama. I didn't know. I swear to God, I didn't know this man was from that area. And somebody gave me a tape and said, This is Eddie Kendricks. I said, Throw that in the box. Ain't no Eddie Kendricks down here in no damn Alabama. But I didn't know. He was, that's what. And when I saw him, he was sick, dying. And we was at a, 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 a the ward award show, and we was it was at the bar. Him and I mean, uh, uh, one of some one of the other temptations, and uh, and he said, I, he said I sent you a tape one time, and I just dropped to the floor. I just then I knew it was him, mm. Mm. and I said, Ed, man, I swear I didn't know that was you. If it would, I would, you know, because Rick James had done something with the Temptations and, mm -hmm. you know, Eddie said, well, I'm going to get Charlie Wilson. I didn't know that there was him for real that was looking for me. Mm -hmm. I just didn't believe it was him down in Alabama, wherever it was. I can't remember. It was something like that. And, um, and I said, man, I'm so sorry. Is it too late? He said, no, it's not too late, but I don't know when I'm leaving. And then I cried. And I was like, oh, man, this is that hurts me more than anything. And uh, about two weeks, I said, I called him and said, he died. I was like, oh, mm. man. So that was, he was one of the ones. And uh, uh, Donnie Hathaway. Wow. Mm. Met wow. him in uh, Black Expo 71 in Chicago. And, um, and of course, you know, it's, you know, Sly Stone and I, he's so proud. He keeps sending messages to me. I'm so proud of him telling him, tell him that. And uh, so I get all his messages all the time because he was one of my uh, idols. And I, I, just, I don't like to use the word idols, but he's the one I looked up to, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And But uh, I mean, he's still writing every day. And I was like, oh, man, let me have one, some of them ones you writing. <laughs> send that message to him <laughs> cause I know he can still play uh -huh. and he's still coming up with these things like and he when he see him laughing he's like <laughs> he says that he know it's like was when he was when Sly and the Family Stone was huge mm -hmm. so he's coming up with him so man let me have that man mm. let me have that and uh, so he said I got you man so I'm, I got messages going back to him just in case something happens to him yeah uh, that he would um, uh, let me have something, you know, because I would just play and put it on, and then let's just go do that. Yeah, I'm I'm happy, man, just yeah. being alive and well yeah, because man. I've been through a lot and I'm still here, mm -hmm. and, and and there's no you know no pressure. Yeah. I'm just we writing songs and we keep putting them out and. And thank God for them. When they work, they work. And when they don't work, thank God for that. Yeah. 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 And you still look good. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank gonna, you. This is David Weber, and he's a mental health therapist. He he, he started a new segment with us today um, called Mental, what do we call it? Mental, mental Health, health Mondays, Mondays with, with David new, Weber. <laughs> and he's also Chris Weber's little brother, the basketball oh. player. Uh, he yes. wanted to ask you a question. Go ahead. Yeah, I just, you know, you've been in, in this industry for such a long time. Mm -hmm. Just wondering how you take care of your mental health. Like, what's what are some things you do to not only stay healthy physically, but also mentally? Well, I try to eat right. Mm -hmm. And uh, my wife, she cooks good, you know, Persian uh, recipes. And because she's a Persian, you know. She cherry rice? Some tariq? She, 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 tariq. Tariq. <laughs> tariq. <laughs> Yeah, go sway again. Now he's well, he, a he almost had it. Yeah, like, yeah, always, yeah, that almost. Tatty ain't the best thing you can eat. Always, with. Yeah. <laughs> rice sway always, rice. almost. But uh, <laughs> you, you know, she she was saying uh, the, this yesterday when we got when we got to New York. I went to go to uh, over there at the Thompsons, uh, and and uh, I just wait to get that hamburger, and uh, that's not the good stuff. To eat. I just eat uh, a lot of great salads and good salads and 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 a lot of herbs and stuff that's inside those salads and. And you, my wife, she cooks with turmeric and a lot of stuff, you know. She uses all of the Persian spices that are really, really good for your body. Mm -hmm. And so that's in everything we eat. Mm -hmm. Everything, you know. And um, so that's where I'm at, man. I just try to eat right and, and stay active, you know. And um, 
hey, man, that's where I'm at. I guess that's right, man. You and drink you got to keep a positive uh, mindset. And sure. th- that that's part of your mind that tells your body what to do. So you, if you're thinking that you're sad, then your body is sad. Mm. Absolutely. You know? yeah. Absolutely. And you yeah. got good people around you. Keep mentioning your wife. I, I do. Yeah. She's a, she's, a, she's a super mad. Yeah. <laughs> she's the one put the cape on me. You know, it's mm. like, you know, again, she's she's there for every move and every every moment, every move I make, she's there. That's Beautiful. Cool. Love it. Charlie Wilson, man. Listen. Wow. 50th anniversary in the music business. Ain't yes. that crazy? 50th anniversary in the music business. That don't make sense. 50th anniversary five in the decades. music business. Five decades. Come on, five decades. Wow. You ain't even been here five decades. Wow. Come on, man. Yes. I am Charlie Wilson is a New York Times and Washington Post bestseller. The memoir. Yes. Come on. And I don't even think we had halftime for your career yet. No, mm. not yet. What you see what you see coming up? What do you see for yourself? Well, I'm I'm doing a documentary that, and uh, we got the video maybe be coming soon for um uh, Superman and uh Michael Perrin is in charge of that and mm. he's sometimes he might let it lay. Spandu let it lay. <laughs> he maybe used to play that. <laughs> he Spandu might let it lay. I don't know, you know, but it, we had our they had ideas for for the video for that one, and I don't know if he still got the idea for that. Or if we moving on to something else, um, but I don't, I don't know. I won't know until we get right up on it. And uh, but I knew we have, we ha- I do know we have a doc, doc, a documentary coming. Um, and I'm just trying to get all that, it's everything situated. You know, it's a lot of stuff I took out the book mm-hmm. when I when I had it, the, the I Am Charlie Wilson book, and then family members. They saw that they didn't see their name in there like they thought they was gonna see, uh, and then they, as soon as they didn't see that, they went back to doing the same stuff they was doing to me, and so I got a chance to talk to them before they passed, and I said, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're gonna get him. All right, I gotta um, get you. Okay. Hey man, so, so, uh, the, I'm not sure what that ominous message oh, means, but yeah. I'm glad I ain't on the other end of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Because the truth is, the truth will set you free, and now you got free a different way. But uh, <laughs> but your son heard it all, and so so you know sometimes the, the, your nephew, real blood nephews, will get upset when they hear something. But when I was talking. And uh, and and saying things to to the family members, and it was like they said they say he saw they say he saw Uncle Charlie. I said okay, mm. all right. And I just went on and on and on. I talked two hours about it, and then the, the, everything was. He said he saw Uncle Charlie. I said okay. <clears throat> At least you heard everything. So yeah, yeah. When I tell my story in the documentary, you know what you heard, so it's all good. And I said I'm not uh, putting shame to anybody because they left the earth. You know, Just telling your story. I'm gonna tell mine. I'm gonna tell it. Mm-hmm. I, I took you out of the book the first time because I was embarrassed for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm putting you in the dock though. Okay, Charlie Wilson, man. Can I get in the dock somehow? Can we? Yes. Get in the dock? <laughs> <laughs> Sway, shut up. Yeah. I gave Sway my whistle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my whistle. <laughs> Hey, yeah. man, mm-hmm. listen, brother, you are always welcome. Yes. Tell your team. Yeah. If he ever in town. There he is. Hey, hey, listen, come here. Michael Perry, Mike, if anybody give you the run around, it ain't us. We <laughs> always want him on this show. Yes. yes. So you heard yes. it from me. Okay? Love you too, man. Charlie Wilson, let's keep going, baby. Yeah. Come on, family. Love you, Shay. Okay, all right, come on. But say it again, but say Sway with the I love W. You, I love you, Sway. There yeah. you go. Yeah. And love you, Sway and Shay. Oh. <laughs> this is Shay. This is Shay funny for now. Yeah. Oh, that's Shay right. Yeah, that's right. It is a tongue twister. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So anyway, man, I love you so much. And all of y'all, everybody is just mm. it's just wonderful on this show. And I just want to be able to say that before I get out, off this platform. May God always bless all of you and and, and, and keep, keep it. Uh, on 100 every time. Mm. Mm-hmm. Don't pull no punches. Just say it like it really is, and so you don't have to worry about uh, backpedaling to try to say something. You know, mm-hmm. just say what you want to say in the beginning, and it's done. Oof, mm. that, yeah, that's the gem of life, right there. We're yeah. gonna end the show on that. We're gonna play Amen. your song, Superman. Superman. Yeah.